I've been working on African wild dogs for the past nine years and I've been looking at multiple impacts of climate change on the species and what I found is uh, by looking at different areas that there are multiple ways that temperature is having a negative impact. It's impacting their behaviour, it's impacting their reproduction and it's impacting their survival. And when we brought that together in this model it actually showed something quite shocking which was that above a certain temperature threshold the population that we study in Kenya is predicted to collapse. And the reason behind this collapse seems to be that at high temperatures, around three degrees more than we have in Kenya at the moment, there just aren't enough pups surviving to adulthood to maintain the population. What ZSL is now trying to do is to look at the mechanistic reason behind this, the behaviour that is leading to these population level impacts with the hopes of identifying conservation interventions that can prevent this from happening. And we're working as well with the keepers here at London Zoo. We've been building our own collars that measure be fine scale behaviour in these animals and we were able to actually fit these onto dogs at the zoo and look at their behaviour and then that is what has enabled us to look at their behaviour in the wild. So that's going to tell us exactly how and why their behaviour is changing under temperature and hopefully shed light on some of the mechanisms behind why we're seeing these population level impacts. To have them existing and you know, hunting and uh, within the African ecosystem, that's, that's the natural intact ecosystem. So to, to lose those from that ecosystem would be a real shame.